Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the Fox 8 Morning News at 7. And still ahead here on the News Leader, you diet, you exercise, but you still can't get rid of that unsightly cellulite. Find out why. It's a frustration many women face and one that seems to have no solution. How much exercise I get and how well I take care of myself, I still have cellulite. All right, don't go anywhere because we're going to tell you what the real cause of cellulite is and if there's anything you can do to stop it. And as we get closer to the beach season, many women will be dealing with that unsightly cellulite. But if you think weight's the cause, Fox's E.D. Hill explains why for many women, it's just a matter of genetics. It's dimply, lumpy, and it looks like cottage cheese. More than 85% of women have cellulite, which can start after puberty. And the majority of women have no idea how they got it. And I've done a lot of things to try to avoid or prevent it from progressing. No matter how much exercise I get and how well I take care of myself, I still have cellulite. So I want you to know that this is what cellulite is, and it looks like this kind of lumpy and bumpy, like an orange peel. It occurs mostly in females, more than in males, and it's because women have estrogen and progesterone and the X chromosome. Dr. Jan Trokel explains that it's the makeup of a woman's connective tissue, which holds fat, muscle, and skin together, that helps create cellulite. In a man, they're more like crisscrossed, and in a female, they're more horizontal, parallel like this. So what does that mean? That any time you have any type of pressure, the fat can poke through and give you that lumpy, bumpy look. But Dr. Patricia Wexler says you should also look to your family tree when pointing the blame. There's heredity where you see grandmother, mother, and child, but there's also a vascular component, there's an inflammatory component in the skin, so there's no one cause of cellulite. These top docs agree that there's more than one reason for this unsightly problem, and some culprits can actually increase your chances for dimply thighs. So I think, for example, like a sedentary lifestyle, uh, smoking is a really big one, uh, poor diet and nutrition, poor circulation, all of these compound and just exacerbate the problem. And size doesn't matter either. Everyone can get cellulite because you can see the skinniest actress and you're shocked when you see them in a bathing suit in St. Bart's and their legs are all dimpled. I'm Edie Hill, Fox News.